welcome back to another farming simulator video and today we're going to have a look at a feature of auto drive that i was not aware of i do not believe it is new but it was pointed out to me by one of the patrons so we're going to have a look at it because i i did a quick search and i couldn't find anyone else showing off how to use it so we're going to have a look at um picking up and delivering to multiple different points on an auto drive course so the uh, the first thing we want to do is enable that so we're going to go in to our settings and you need to have folders enabled as well because what this will do is it will let you cycle through the points in a folder so you need to have folders enabled and then you need to go in to the user settings and add settings to hud select yes you can do it through the the settings menu but it's easier to do it that way um, and you'll see that down here we now have an additional option which is cycle pick up and deliver um, so this is the default one this picks up from one point which you pick in the menu drops off at another point but we have three other modes we can look at so the first one um, picks up from one point no picks up from multiple points sorry and delivers to one point the second one picks up from one point and delivers to multiple points and then the last one picks up from multiple points and delivers to multiple points so we're going to go through and just have a look at how they work so the first thing as i said is uh, it relies on folders so um you need to have your your points you want to pick up from or your points you want to deliver from in a folder um okay there we go um so i'm not an expert on folders um if you have a a waypoint which is not in a folder then you have this green cross here which lets you create folders so test folder um and then you can drag your waypoint into the folder there we go Someone will have a much better tutorial on folders. This is not a tutorial on folders in particular. Um, so what we're going to do is go in to pick up and deliver mode. Um, so this is the default option. We're going to go for this one, um, which is going to cycle the pickup points. So if we go into here, we'll see that we have a folder for silos. I have two silos on the route. We can pick either one and then we'll pick a cell point and I've got the silos full of wheat. So if I hit go now, what should happen is it should fill up from the first silo, drive to the cell point and sell it, then pick up from the second silo, drive back to the cell point and sell it and just keep repeating that. These silos are pretty full of wheat um, just to set up and demo this. Um, and I, yeah, I, th I think this could be kind of useful if you were doing a lot of automation and say, if, for example, you had a farm that had a lot of animal pens and either picking up the milk from all of them and selling it or maybe slurry or manure, that kind of thing. Uh, you could just have a worker cycling around selling all your milk, maybe if the price was good. Um, equally maybe if you had a few um, productions or BGAs or whatever you could have it picking up from one if you were producing a lot of waste you could have it picking up and delivering to multiples of those so here we are we're at cell point one uh, so we're going to sell and then we should drive to silo two if my notes are right um, so you it, it won't switch until it's done the actions um, that was the thing that kind of confused me so yep we'll just let the trailer close down and then it should switch over to driving over to silo 2 there we go so off now to silo 2 so this first one with the arrows pointing to the left cycles the pickup point um so this is not a mode that I've used before. You can access it through the menu as well. So if we now have a quick look in the menu, um, you will see there we've got cycle pick up and deliver. So you can go through them of um, no change of targets, change pick up, change delivery or change all. We're just going to work through that in the menu because I kind of like this. 
Um, so we're filled up at silo two. We're now going to drive around to cell point one because my course is set up as a loop. We'll actually go past all of them because this has been done literally just to test and learn how this feature works and then demo it to you guys because yeah, I, uh, I wasn't aware of it until one of the patrons pointed it out to me and I've not seen it used particularly, I don't think. So I did a did a YouTube search this morning because I was actually struggling to work out how to use it for a bit. Um, so yeah, I think the, the important thing, the bit that I was struggling with is you just need to pick one of the waypoints that's in the folder and then auto drive will cycle through all of them in the folder. I've just done two here because it was enough to demonstrate. So you can see we've gone to cell point one. You'll see that once we've sold this, it'll flick to silo one again. Um, and that's really the basics of how this works. It's just going to keep cycling through um, either until you stop it or you've told it how many cycles to do or it's run out of stuff to sell or deliver. Um, so we'll just we'll let that switch and then I'm going to swap it over so you can see it's now driving to silo one and um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to swap the other way so the arrows are now going to the right and that means it's going to cycle through the cell point I'm actually going to set it to silo two because we're closer to that to fill up um, so if I hit go now yeah you can you can reach silo two silo two's in front of you there we go um, so, yep, it's going to go and fill up at silo 2, drive to cell point 1 and sell. It's going to drive back to silo 2, go to cell point 2 and sell. And it'll just keep repeating that process then. Uh, so, yeah, here, maybe you've got a, you know, either you've got a lot of grain to sell and you want to split it between the cell points for some reason or you've got some productions to deliver to um, and you want to uh, just leave the the game delivering to the productions for you or um, again i think this could work well with animals maybe you've got an uh, an animal pen that is producing a lot of slurry or you've got a lot of slurry stored and you're delivering it to several bgas maybe um you know if you've got a few mini bgas that you're, you're trying to keep filled up that kind of thing um I think this probably works better with productions maybe um, and keeping multiple productions busy. I could see maybe multiple farm dairies, you know, um, you're producing a lot of milk. Those don't really handle a lot in, in, in individual amounts. So maybe you're delivering to a few of those jotted around the map or around your farm, um, that kind of thing. It's where, it's where I can see it really paying off. So yeah. So we've done cell point one. We should now go back to the silo and deliver, refill and deliver to cell point two. Um, I'll show you the last one just for completeness, but I think probably at this point you've kind of got it. So the important bit is you need to uh, probably, if you've got a full auto drive network, you might want to have a couple of folders spare and just move the points that you're you're wanting to cycle to into those might be easier um i don't know i'm not sure how best to set the uh, the folder structure up i say i i haven't used folders particularly in auto drive until today when i was trying to work out how this works um i could see me doing it in the future for those kind of examples of delivering milk and things i i'm not a heavy auto drive user i have a few spe specific things it's easy for you to say a few specific things that I like to use it to. So you can see it's now switched to cell point two and it's going to drive to cell point two and sell and then just repeat that cycle. So, um, yeah, I, I can see situations where this would be useful. And so, uh, again, I, I my, my use of auto drive does vary a lot. I tend to like doing the driving myself. I use it more for... Um, Actually, on Maypole, I do use it for delivering milk to the dairy and that kind of thing. Um, I use it a lot for carting for combines and stuff like that as well. Um, it's really good for that. So that's that mode done. So the last mode we need to look at is alternating all inputs and outputs. 
I have not played with this one. Um, what I assume will happen is it will just keep cycling through all four. Um, I'm going to hit the button and I might end up time lapsing this. And it's quite a short circuit, but even so, it does take a while to get through. Um, yeah, probably a really good point to say thank you to. I mentioned that this was pointed out to me by one of the patrons. A really good point to say. Thank you to the patrons and the YouTube channel members for supporting me. Um, I do appreciate you guys. You are really cool. Um, recently, it's allowed me to upgrade some of my setup, which is, it turns out, is kind of important for the uh, the the experimentation with streaming because uh, the laptop that I normally record on really struggles with streaming, but the desktop that I've been able to sort out through, you know, YouTube and patrons and stuff ha it does do that well so yeah um that's really cool so we're coming up to silo 2 i'm assuming we're going to go to cell point 2 and then i'm not sure how it's going to cycle between the four different options whether it's going to do yeah i have no idea no idea how they've programmed the logic for this um but I do think it's a really good feature and as I've said a couple of times it's not a feature that I've seen anyone else certainly promoting I oh, we're going to sell point one um, I did a, a search on YouTube because I was looking to see if anyone else had made a video on it because I was uh, I wasn't sure how to get it to work um, but I have obviously but I couldn't find anyone else that had an obviously titled video on how to do this so um, hopefully people are going to find it useful uh, auto drive is one of those really powerful tools that I think has so many features that people just don't know the depth that you can go into um, I know there are all sorts of different options for classifying bits of routes as different you know priorities and stuff I've, i do none of that um so we're just going to deliver to cell point one um and then we'll see how it cycles yeah you, know, you can do so much with auto drive um probably auto drive guy is a good one to check out um i don't use auto drive enough to really dive into it there there are specific features that i like about auto drive that i use like combine unload um i use that a lot particularly with forage harvesting and stuff it's really useful um, running loaded trailers backwards and forwards between harvest and sell points and stuff like that it's, uh, it's how I use it so we're going to silo 2 again to fill up um, I wonder if we're then going to cycle to sell point 2 well uh, we'll just have to wait and see I guess um, yeah I, I hope you found this if you have found this video useful while we're waiting go click the like button and uh leave me a comment or a question or whatever um this episode was cycled cell point two we'll see what happens next um this is gonna sound weird i'm trying to push the whole subscribe thing less but if you've just found the channel and you find this kind of thing interesting why not subscribe it doesn't cost you anything um it helps me out it knows that people are interested in these kind of videos i am always curious as to which kind of videos people are interested in i do a mixture of tutorials and let's plays every week and so you know if people subscribe on this kind of thing maybe i'll make more of this kind of thing who knows um so let's see where we go next i wonder if we it feels like we're probably going to go to silo one yeah so and we'll see what cell point we're going to go to and then i'm going to call it a day because this is quite a long video anyway it's plenty long enough for a tutorial i would suggest if you're going to use this you have a play with it i would suggest you go and watch someone who's got a good video on folders um maybe scroft he does some he's done some good tutorials on auto drive in the past fsg obviously farm sim guy he's got some really good tutorials and i think a lot of you know even if it's an fs19 tutorial it'll give you the information that you need on things like folders um but go check those guys out as well um mighty mike as well he has some good tutorials on on auto drive i think um and we're going to sell point one now okay so we've cycled both 
I'm assuming next we'll do silo one and cell point two. Let's just wait and see that as well. But yeah, um, this is definitely not a definitive guide to everything auto drive to do with this. The uh, the folder stuff. Go go watch someone else's tutorial on that. If you can't find one, stick a comment below, and I'll have a look at it. Um, so I, the, a lot of the tutorials I do, there there are two types of tutorial I do. Tutorials on things that I want to know about that I can't find one for. Um, I'm really not a fan of making tutorials when other good ones exist. Why I started making tutorials, there weren't tutorials on the things I wanted to know. Um, the other one is if there's a lot of interest from the community on having a tutorial on how to do stuff. So we're going to silo two now. So they just seem to be cycling. Okay. Um, have a play with it. You know, it'll vary with how many, you know, I've only got two in each. It'll vary with how many you've got in each one and that kind of thing. Um, I suspect this is probably the least useful mode. But yeah, two types of tutorials. One is something that I want to understand how it works. So I go away and work out how it works because I want to know. And I figure if there isn't good information about how it works out there, other people want to know. The other one is if, you know, if a few people ask me, how do you do this? And I'm vaguely interested. I'll go away and work it out and make a video because I like to do this to help the community out as well. So at that point, I am going to say thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, hope it was useful, and I will see you next time.